Today, I want to discuss certain traps that those with anxiety, ADHD, and depression often suffer. If you stick around, we'll be discussing what to do when you get caught in these traps. PanicAttackRecovery.com Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, stress, anxiety, depression, and ADHD. As mentioned, I want to discuss the traps that those with anxiety, ADHD, and depression often suffer. Here are some examples of such problematic thoughts. Telling yourself something like the following, because I've been anxious most of the day, I may as well accept the fact that I'll be anxious all day and not bother to do anything about it. Or, because I've been lazy or unfocused much of the day, I may as well not try to motivate myself to do something. Variations of this type of all-or-nothing thinking are very common traps for anxiety and ADHD sufferers. They can become self-fulfilling prophecies because the more you believe these thoughts, the less likely you are to challenge them and you end up doing exactly as predicted. You buy into these negative thoughts and literally become stuck in a place of complacency. We've heard from many in the PanicAttackRecovery.com community who have experienced this challenge. Fortunately, we know many people who were able to develop healthier habits rather than being held in the clutches of self-defeat. The good news is that many were able to counteract these traps by utilizing some basic strategies, and we believe that you can do the same. Here are some steps that those in our community used to get back on track and you can do so as well. Learn to recognize what's going on and call it out by saying something like, oh, these recurring self-defeating thoughts again. Then say to yourself something like the following, there are some things I can get done today despite not having had a productive day so far and not feeling motivated. I can carry out a variety of exercises to feel better, and that's much healthier than giving in to self-defeating beliefs. Finally, bring your focus back on something intentional to consciously break away from this negative reflection. By intentional, we're simply referring to either doing something you enjoy, like a hobby, or spending time with a loved one, or working on something or carrying out some exercises to help with anxiety and ADHD. Taking such steps can bring you out of the endless loop of self-defeat, but words have to be backed by actions. Take a step forward on one of these activities. Try to remember the adage we titled one of our podcasts, feel the discomfort and do it anyway. This is because when we're in the midst of self-defeating thoughts, it can be really hard and sometimes uncomfortable to do some things that will ultimately make us feel better. There is no real reason why you can't move forward by taking small actions even though you don't feel like doing so. Feeling the discomfort and doing it anyway is really a key concept because often when you are feeling defeated, you might not even feel like doing those things that you normally enjoy doing. So, you have to push yourself during such times. Learn to approach these challenges with a better attitude. Remind yourself that longer-term happiness today is brought about by being intentional in the moment. By taking these simple yet effective steps, you can get back on track and free from the clutches of the self-defeating loop. We hope that you'll give these suggestions a try. We hope that you've enjoyed this latest video and look forward to presenting a new video next week. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content, please click on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter.